welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I decided to shake things up on you guys, and I got something new, a wine spritzer. This is not something I've ever tried before, and I actually bought it just for you guys, so I had something different to drink. And it's really not that bad, I kinda like it. Not that long ago, we did three canvas embroidery pieces with body positive images on them, and I, fell in love. <laughs> they are hanging on my bedroom wall and I love looking at them. And the actual canvas embroidery part was really calming. It was just super chill and relaxing to do while I was watching something on Netflix. When I was actually at the store getting materials for that video, I got lost and engulfed in the world that is embroidery and cross-stitching. I know nothing of this world. I have never cross-stitched before, and the only embroidery piece that I've ever done were those three that you guys watched me do. I decided to pick up this embroidery kit. This is by no means supposed to be a product review. It is purely just to see if someone as inexperienced as me can pick up a kit like this and cross-stitch something that resembles what is on the cover. So if you guys would like to go on this journey with me and see how it turns out, please continue watching. So this kit that I bought claims to include thread, 14 count Aida, Ada, I may be pronouncing that wrong, <laughs> the fabric, the hoop, a needle, and easy instructions. It was the easy instructions that caught my eye also, the fact that there's a cat on it and it says meow! How cute! <laughs> we'll be breaking out the instructions and seeing if I can follow along and hoping that I end up with something that resembles the cat. Welcome to my bedroom floor. I figured I could do this craft maybe while watching some TV shows since I find the embroidery part pretty relaxing. And you get a nice shot of my Hogwarts pajama bottoms. <laughs> The instructions suggest, and I also suggest, that you read through everything before beginning. It's nice to just get a good well-rounded picture before diving in. Now, some of the first steps are to put your fabric on these hoops. And you want to try to find the center point. Line up this hoop, the small hoop, to the center, and then press this big one over top and tighten it. You want the fabric to be nice and smooth and tight before you begin. Another one of the items provided is this nice little guide of all of the strings that we need. This is all the different colors you need for this piece. For each of the colors, they refer to these, the actual string pieces, as a piece. And each piece contains several strands in here. And so you want to go and separate, they suggest separating all four strands and also cutting your string in half so you don't have so much to work with. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. That was probably the most annoying part of all of this. <laughs> is trying to deconstruct the piece of string. These instructions also show how to stitch. It gives suggestions on how to actually cross stitch, and it gives a nice little thing here about how to back stitch, which we have already done before. Here is also our big chart. It has a nice little color-coded system, so each one of these figures matches a color of string. According to the instructions, it says to find the center point of the chart of this design and to count 11 squares down and we're going to begin with the light gray. So we go from the center point as well on our actual hoop. We're going to count 11 dots down and we're going to start with our gray. And also according to the key for this light gray, we need two strands. So two strands of this itty bitty string is what we are going to put through our needle. So 
So I guess from here, I'm really just going to follow this diagram that has all of the keys and the color codes and everything to it. And I am gonna do my best to follow the pattern. has been a little bit more than a week since I started this cross stitch project and let me tell you guys this is not the same as the canvas embroidery it is not as easy as just back stitching along some lines this required some serious patience and concentration on my part so it was not as relaxing and enjoyable as I thought it was going to be still enjoyable and I still love the way that this turned out so I'm going to show you guys how the piece went and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. So here is my final cross stitch. I mean, it's a cat. It looks like a cat and it says meow and I'm actually really proud of it. One of the mistakes that I made early on was I swapped the light gray color for the normal gray. So anywhere that had normal gray I put light gray in and anywhere that was supposed to have the light gray is darker and you really can't tell just by looking at my piece but you can definitely tell when you compare it to the image that it was supposed to look like and I wanted to do all of the cross stitches for one color all at once before I switched to a different color but that ended up with a lot of extra string kind of crisscrossing back and forth across the back of my design and this is what the back looks like and maybe that was a mistake maybe I did it correctly but near the end of the project when I was finishing up on the colors it became very difficult to see where exactly the holes were and to be able to count where each stitch was supposed to go and as I said this piece required a lot of concentration so there were several places where I may have added an extra cross stitch or miscounted and missed one and so it's not totally perfect even though this is not an original drunk crafts with page piece I will still be taking this outside to show you guys an up-close look out in the natural light I guess that settles it it turns out someone as new to cross stitching as me or to any one of you guys who has never cross stitched before you can indeed pick up one of these DIY kits and come up with something that resembles the picture on the cover I believe in you guys if I can do it I know you guys can do it Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. There's a whole bunch of stuff down in the description box below. There is links for my Instagram, my Facebook, and my PayPal account, as well as a whole list of all the materials we used in this week's video if you would like to try to make anything on your own at home. And if you do, make sure you tag me in it so I can see. I'll see you guys all for the next video. Cheers. <laughs>